سلام I've got a job, right? I'm sending this down now so you, if you let me have a look at this for a minute and then I'll talk to you about it and see if I'm on the right track. This is a patient. Um, he's got a full up a comb. That's it there. And it's fracturing. Right, oh God. It's fracturing there. Right? It's actually fractured the comb down there. And obviously that's had several fractures. Now here, put that right. Flatten this. Put that right on there, about the centre of the ridge. When you whack that on, right, that contact point but if you go down to this contact point which is contacting with the low obviously um no hang on that one you see it's off the ridge and then that where it's hitting as well and that's off the ridge as well so what I'm figuring is that is when I'm pushing that, where that's hitting is flexing the denture. So that's creating, and this one, this side, is there. That's not too bad. So it's basically, this is, the this is the problem. But the problem is, there's no space, right? So anyway, what I've done is I've, I've reset this up with a contact point where they're hitting now on the triune is right now where that's not the cone there is like right on the ridge more or less yeah right so like the average contact are on the ridge as opposed to that one which are off the ridge because the contacts are right there. So turn that off. So what I've done I've put set this up like that. Right. Now what I'm this is where I'm trying to do. When I've set this up right, sort of ants look alright in the mouth. And I'm do that. Now when I turn the, when I do this to the left, right? Right, to the patient's right rather. I've got contact there on the but the palatal cusp of that, no, I'm, I've got the on the buccal cusp of the four five, right? That's contacting, and the three is contacting. The up underneath there is contacting as well. Can I have a light on, please? Let me get it. Right, there we go. So that's contacting. But <coughs> when I do it the other way, right, I've got contact. There. Right. And I've got contact on the palatal cusp of that six, but that six. And, and, and when I do it, and protruded, not protruded, um, protruded, right, I've got contact on this still, and I've got contact going through on the bottle cusp of that six, the palatal cusp of that six, and this one, when he's shinning about, he can get 
contact on the anterior when you protrude. So those, it's a pig of a job, I've got new room, I'll put this in, I'll show you what room I've got. That's what I've got, I'm going to get a comb in there and <coughs> So, that one, that size, is a pig to get in. That one wasn't too bad. So, you've got more room on that one than you have on that one. And these cusps, these cusps here. I don't want to see any of this bloody pin being in the way. See how like the um this ridge is quite far out. So in order to get the upper to include with these, I've had to push them in, which has obviously made them small. So hands on like that. I was looking at this and I didn't think it was right, so I started setting another one up, right, because I'm just caught about with this piece in the mind. And then I, I set them up so that so it didn't digitate it properly. Now this is wrong, right, but I set this up so it didn't digitate it properly. And then in order to get, like, up, when I'm going left or right, I had to, like, grind them in such a stupid way, and then the anterior didn't look anywhere near right. So I'm binning this one anyway, but it was just like a learning curve anyway. And I found that really hard to, to, to get it to look anywhere right. So I'm kind of sticking with this one. Um, it's not obviously finished the contour in and out, so I, I didn't want to really just fart around with it until I took the other wash, because I'm do, going to do a thin wash in it, because I wasn't 100 percent happy with this um job for the ink rather so basically what I want to know is am I anywhere near or what can I do to dive 